Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the High Five Podcast, High Five After Dark. I'm your host, Malcolm from Malcolm and Mary, and today we're going to take a look at some beautiful products off the shelf of High Five. And we have a new company here tonight. Emily, what are we trying tonight? Okay, so it's by Cannabis, the Turquoise Dream. Yes. Thank you. Thank yes. you. I was just going to ask you because I do not remember the name. Um, first impressions, it looks real pretty. You know, it's kind of like everything that I like in weed. You know, it's it's full, it's purpley, it's crisply. Um, it's got the hairs on it. The cones are pretty. Uh, it has a really nice, like, it's not dry, you know, has a little bit of a crunch, but not like a massive, you know, what's to be expected of dry feet, so. Exactly. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I think it looks great based off impressions. It smells really good too. Yes. Which is a plus, because it's always really disappointing when something looks great and it smells like absolutely nothing. Right. Like <laughs> but I do feel like grinding it up is going to make it smell even more, you know? kind of has that, you said like a potato, like starchy yeah. smell to it, yeah. you know? Yeah. You know, I wouldn't have like nailed that unless you had kind of mentioned it but it does kind of have that like starchy kind of like that fullness yeah. smell oh yeah yeah it is beautiful like, yes just, the different nugs in here are just unreal yes and this they do have in the top shelf as well they don't have grams so we had to go with the eighth today um, so always excited to try a new company and top shelf to see if it's worth it Period. Yeah, I'm saying period. I see. Um, and Emily, how are you enjoying that one tonight? Um, I'm gonna be smoking out of my bong. Rocking. Okay. Mm -hmm. Rock and roll. Okay. Fantastic. I'm excited to see what you think about this. We do have this in the um, or we did in the pre-roll, and I actually think Kirsten got a chance to review not this strain but cannabis on the pre-roll before. Um, so we'll see how their flowers. It's been on the shelf for a while. And Chuck Light made a little testament to it that maybe we should try something from them that was a little bit fresher and a little bit newer, but also we tried things from the budget chair that have been here for nine months and still give rave reviews and amazing yaya. Yeah, yeah. So we'll see what this is all about. Um, and also they don't list when it was harvested, which is why we just kind of went for it. I don't care. If it's good, it's good. I'll smoke Hindu Kush that's five years old. It don't matter. Um, also... I, too, am going to be trying the Turbo Drink tonight. I'm trying to do more podcast episodes where multiple people try the same thing just so that we can see how everyone is different, how everybody likes certain strains, certain brands, certain vibes, you know what I'm saying, an X, Y, and Z, so you can kind of get both sides of that um, coin. Um, found out today this is an Asian-owned um, company as well. Um, Chanibus has got... A lot of beautiful Asian art on the um, actual uh, jar itself. The logo itself has got that very um, Chinese kind of inside door kind of design. The packaging is really pretty. Yes, it's beautiful. You know what I'm saying? That would be an awesome tattoo as well. Really, really nice. Um, yeah, and then they says they do list the genetics. It's Tropicana Cookies and Slurricane number seven. So. Mm. Nice little cross, and honestly, it looks like it. This looks like Slurricane and Tropicana cookies 100%. Um, when I go ahead and crack this bad boy, it's grapefruity. It's grapefruity I'm getting. I do get that potato note again, and I am getting that papaya. But now it's like bitter. It's like bitter grapefruit is what I'm getting, like clear as day. Yeah, way, way more sour. But I'm going to say more bitter than sour. I'm going to say grapefruit, I'm going to say bitter, and then I'm going to say the potato. Or like you said, that kind of starchy kind of vibe. Um, Ground up is insane. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I just took like a little, like a little whiff and was like, oh wow. Yeah, I, I knew like obviously grinding up your weed, I feel obviously opens it and makes it more, like you can smell it. But yes. like, that's, that's a big difference. 
Yes. Like I and never forget, you grind that weed up, or even if you just squeeze it with your fingers, you break those essential oils. The glands broken, they release, they let out all those beautiful essential oils. But this does smell really nice. Actually, and I'm not a, I'm not that big of a citrus kind of guy. When I smell citrus, I don't go crazy. I am gonna give this loud scale. I am gonna give this a ten out of ten. This is loud. Like this is this is very very loud. Um, and I don't know I don't know if you're blindfolded. You held this in front of somebody, and they'd be like, "Yeah, that's weed." I, I might not know this was weed. I might think that this was a car freshener or, you know, a, a drink maybe like an effervescent drink. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? I can see that. You know, so nice little testament. But um, I am going to be trying this in the uh, paper. We're going to do some Binskis today, rocking and rolling with Binsky. Um, I've got some tinier nugs here. And then I'm going to do just a little, well, actually, I'll see how that breaks down. And then we'll decide if we're going to use any of the two other nugs. Um, uh, I was going to say something else. Also, with cannabis, I'm excited. I, Emily's on the glass, so I am going to do this in the paper. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. And also, as far as, that's what I was going to say. As far as moisture content and everything else of the like, beautiful. It looks really good. Moisture content-wise. I mean, I'll give this an 8.5 out of 10. There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it. There's an 8.5 out of 10. This big nug I love. This is like a really plump nug. It's nice and fat and juicy. I'm excited. I found out. Yes, yes. I'm very excited. Um, okay, now, um, speaking of which, um, Emily, favorite yes. dish with grapefruit? Go. Five, uh... four, three. Two. You know, I don't drink anymore, one. but it's definitely like a grapefruit, like, uh, like a vodka of some sort. Okay, a little cocktail. Like, my, yeah, a little, little cocktail. One of my good friends, Zach, makes like a really nice like grapefruit, like vodka cocktail. It's simple. Like I, I'm a. It doesn't take a lot for me. And when I did drink vodka, it was like unfortunately my go-to. So. <laughs> Yes. Yes. Yeah, into so much. I just did the little nugs. That's so much. It's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah. And and also and also mine broke down hella even. Like hella even. Beautiful. Okay. But you would do a grapefruit cocktail. Yeah, I would do grapefruit cocktail. Nice. I also would do a grapefruit cocktail. Yes, I would do a Paloma, I think. Let's see. Um, okay, now, when it comes to um, this cannabis, as I've broken mine down, it's a little bit more settled on the bitter. The bitters kind of eased out and went away. What? Yeah. I feel like I feel like the bitterness is eased away, and it's a little bit more like, traditional sweet citrus yes but like the pine is starting to come and like help it out a little bit however with all that being said um moisture content give this 8.5 out of 10 density i'm going to give this a 9.5 out of 10 um curve appeal i'm going to give this a 9.5 out of 10 i really am happy with what this is is done so far um, and I went into this, as I told you earlier, I did not expect much from this at all. I was like, I'm not really um, too happy with anything in the top show period. But also, that doesn't give grams as an option. You yeah, know what I'm saying? True. It's very shady to me. Um, <laughs> curb appeal, like I said, I'll give this a 9.5 out of 10. And the breakdown, this is a 10 out of 10 breakdown. What? I'm, ha I'm, happy, with, I'm happy with how this... Yes. I'm happy with how this broke down. That's nar nar. Yeah, for the little, crazy. for the little nugs, that's crazy. Okay, but now let's get to rolling this. Let's rock and roll. All right. And Emily, did you get a chance to start chiefing on that yet? Not yet. I just loaded the bowl and then have probably like a dog fur or something in my eye that's been bugging the fuck out of me. But I am gonna take my first sip right now. Beautiful. Big shout out to all the dogs worldwide. Excellent. 
beautiful. And that if, is so good. You like on a scale of well, first of all, you got you have to take one more hit. Then I'll ask you what you think that smoothness is. That scale of one through ten. Also, big shout out to High Five. All of our customers, as always, big shout out to High Five Stevenson, big shout out to um, High Five Supply, um, everybody who brought their dogs in today, big shout out to y'all, big shout out to Gunner, um, Goober, and Roscoe. Roscoe is big as shit. And literally, literally opened the door, and Roscoe, like, lost his blitzed out the door, fell out the door head first onto the concrete. Goober's just being the best boy in the car watching this mayhem happen. Gunner's been trying to take Oh, Goober's the best. Gunner's been trying to or take Roscoe and Goober out kayaking and Roscoe just doesn't get it. He just wants to flip the canoe at every single chance, which I I also understand. That would um, be my husband's case for sure. Yeah. I think one of them would just panic so much that she from shaking would tip like a paddleboard. <laughs> so, huh. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I said, I said, well, you got to strap them in some way, somehow. And Gunner was yeah. like, no, nah, I don't want to strap the dog and not on water, at least. And I was like, okay, that's fair. Yeah. Life jackets, though, they do sell them. It's a real thing. They do sell Look, that is the cutest thing. That is a very yeah. cute thing for a yeah. pup. I had a friend who had a pretty small dog who he took kayaking all the time. They had a little life jacket and it just looked like a lunchbox you just scoop up the dog, hold it like a little lunchbox. And just set it on the kayak, set it down, and I was cracking up. I love that. I love that. People do bring their lunch boxes. Yeah. Yes. Yep, yep, yep. Yes. It was super cute, but and then it like changed the game for me. I was like, wow, kayaking with your dog with flight jackets. But I don't know if me and two huskies could fit in a kayak that I have right now. I would need a much bigger one. Hey, where there's a will, there's a way. But something I am willing to learn. I always thought it would be really cool, and I think they would enjoy it once they understood the concept of it. Right, right. And also, they'll be happy just to be with you out in nature. You know what I'm saying? That's they'll true. be down for sure. Yeah, they're happy just to be out in the backyard. <laughs> <laughs> Emily, like, I don't got to go kayaking. I don't. You know? I know. I love kayaking. Sign me up. No, I know, but you don't have to. Oh, no, I don't have to yeah, go kayaking. No, no. To have these Bring no. it. Or happy just smelling the air when I open the back door. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Okay. Now, and also big shout out to everybody. And when you do go out to the river, everybody out there on these very, very hot days, remember yeah. stay hydrated, y'all. We got some hot ones. Scorchers coming up this week into the hundreds. Um, be safe yeah. out there. Be safe, be safe, be safe. Yes, Sand get will burn your feet. Yes. Sand will burn your feet the, so the, be yes the pavement also will burn your feet be careful yes and your dog's feet don't walk them yes yes, yes. or get the booties or get the booties little shoes yes it's funny watching them adjust to it <laughs> i think i think little sandals for pups would be a great summertime invention <laughs> yes. Picture Frankie. Picture Frankie blind in slides. That is the cutest thing. Frankie just hopping around his backyard. He wouldn't even care. He wouldn't even care. He would love it. Not a heck in the world. Not a heck in the world. <laughs> okay. Let's see. The so. harshness is not bad. It did have a little kick to it that second time, but um, I feel like I always cough. I'm literally, I cough at everything, so. Um, it The taste is uh, more so, like, afterwards. Like, I don't really taste it initially. Like, I'm not like, wow, this is, like, phenomenal. But, like, when I was blowing it out and, like, kind of just, like, letting it sit for a second, I was like, okay. I like this. I like it. Um, I did get that like citrusy, uh, starchy. Um, I didn't really taste like the pine or like smell of pine. Okay. Uh, that you had mentioned. I was like trying to see, but 
it just I I had more citrus and that like heavy like full starch kind of potatoy <laughs> kind of feel to it. But okay, hell yeah, hell yeah. Okay, now are you you've taken about two to three hits? Do you have any um, disclosure on what direction is kind of putting you yet, or not quite yet? Um. So I kind of just felt like a rush just because we were talking, but it's more sitting like right here in my chest, uh, kind of like the bottom of the base of my neck. Okay. Um. And like a little bit in my temples. Beautiful. I kind of feel like a little bit of that like tension, pressure, like someone's kind of just like pushing in right here a little bit. Okay. Um, I feel stoned already and it's only been like three hits. Perfect. Like I can feel it, so. Perfect. Okay. It takes normally like a bowl typically to be like, I feel something. Wow. Okay. 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 It's like. Okay, I will say, thank you, Emily, but I will say, on my dry pool, now really all I'm getting is grapefruit. I'm not quite getting any of the pine. And really, I just get grapefruit. I literally just, I can't even put anything else on this. Um, which is cool, but also maybe it not. It kind of reminds me of a mimosa strain. Like, I tried a mimosa strain that was very similar to this, where it was just, like, really grapefruit and, like, sour, bitter citrus. Yes, and that kind of effervescentness a bubble. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's kind of got that sensation behind the nose, I feel like. Okay, but enough talking. We're going to get into this. Um, I've got this bad boy rolled up. We've got the Jizzy, which I'm so excited about. You know what I'm saying? Really pearled this one to be exact. You know what I'm saying? Very, very quickly. That we looks have great. Our beautiful little N for ne'er do well. Okay, now let's see. Let's go ahead and get into this. Man, big shout out to everybody worldwide. Big shout out to everybody working in restaurants. Big shout out to everybody chasing that, chasing that lifestyle, man. It's a beautiful okay. thing. Beautiful thing. Let's see. It's a great thing. Excellent. Okay. Making money. Yes. And you wanna. Yes. And having fun. Uh, and having fun. fun. Yes. Go. No, I just, no yes. I just went out to lunch with my grandparents for my uh, for my birthday. Yes. And my grandpa is I think turning seventy nine. Okay. Something like that. He's, I asked him if he had any advice for a 27 year old and he just told me to have fun he was like i just blinked and i am old as hell which is crazy <laughs> which is crazy i just had to get something like surgically done in my heart and he was like yeah i just blinked and all of a sudden i'm here waking up on the surgery table crazy. It done. It, like it was just crazy you just gotta have fun yes and i was like why do you think i quit my job to sell weed <laughs> Cause you I do. Really, I do. I have fun. I have a lot of fun. So it's great. Absolutely. Life is so short. So freaking short. Life is so short, and your, you know, grandparents are beautiful. You know, testament to you know <laughs> even making it that far. Seventy, eighty, seven years, such a beautiful thing. You know, what I'm saying it's a tragedy when a young adult or a child passes and they don't get a chance to, you know, what I'm saying. Yes. Experience. to fulfill you know yeah it's crazy um so that that you know we got it we got to take it for what it is and enjoy it this world is so big opportunity so small also take care of yourself get out there exercise as much as your heart desires you know what i'm saying exercise exercise and exercise move it or, will never do you wrong. move it or lose it as they say yeah. especially right. as you get older move it or lose yeah. it Move it or lose yeah, it. I used to work in a gym and I opened the gym. I tell you, I was old people every morning coming in here, working out, getting their social hour in. Yep. And they were in the best shape of their lives. Yep. It was great. Yep. And these are the same people, like people coming in here that are in like 80s doing the water aerobics class and they're like, 
they're in there, you know? <laughs> yeah. I just want to be able to continue to use my body as I need to. Yeah. You know, oh, for as long. You know, this. And there's so many variables that go along with that. You never know what will happen to you, of course. But if it's up to me, I'm not going to sit around waiting to be 80 years old and then can't really use my legs like that or got a bad back because I didn't use it a lot. Also, this is a prime example. And I'm, we're going to get back to the weed right after this. Also, white ash is beautiful burn on this so far. I'm excited. The smoothness, first it was a little gnar gnar. Second and third have been decent so far. But one of my managers at Jam um, tore her MCL, and she was like, um, this was about maybe a year ago. And when she came in the next day, we were like, oh, my God, Lena, what happened? Oh, my God, Lena, what happened? She's like, honestly, I wish I had a cool story for you. She was like, I was just walking. And pop, no. all, all of a sudden, she was like, my MCL no. just went. And I was like, well, yeah. And also, very unfortunate, yes, but this is what happens when you do not use your or how should I say this is what happens when you don't exercise it enough throughout the day you know what I'm saying to prepare it you know what I'm saying um, if you're just going to work every day then coming home and then that's it and your work isn't really intense enough to exercise your muscles you know what I'm yeah. saying past everyday use you're bound for that shit like that to happen you know what I'm saying like it's just for unfortunate sure. for sure you gotta take care of yourself your future self will thank you a hundred percent a hundred percent thank you it's a message to your future self yeah the work you put in today is a message for your future self and yeah. also well i'm not gonna get on my soapbox but nevertheless nevertheless exercising is great and what's more important about that you literally witness the results you watch yeah. them in front of your own two eyes on your own two body and everybody loves it you love it your loved ones love it everybody wants to see you do well for yourself go for, for it sure. go be for it is always a good thing and we all strive to be healthy and to have people that support you while you're trying to be healthy that's a big part of it too you gotta your crew yes both mentally and physically yes uh, yes 100% <clears throat> yes Thank okay you. of course <clears throat> but <coughs> Turple drink. <coughs> now, Turple this is <coughs> from cannabis. I will say it's also burning at a really nice rate. Like, my yeah. joint, I feel like, has barely had that much gone into it. I still feel really social right away. It's um, burning like a champ. Smoothness, I am going to give this a 7.5 out of 10. It's not as smooth as I once thought, but also it's not the end of the world. It's nothing really yeah. bothering me too much. You know what I'm saying? Flavor profile, let's see. I am getting that grapefruit still, you know what I'm saying? And it's 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 grapefruit, it's a little grassy, you know what I'm saying? But I also have it in joint form, so my flavor is a little bit intense, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, yeah. Which, it's a little, as Wendy would say, it's a little hot, you know what I'm saying? Which is, you know, nice little testament. Um, I feel like this is like, I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm drinking a hot grapefruit tea. That's what this is. Cool. That actually sounds really good. <laughs> I love tea. Especially hey, on a... Es yes. I thought you were safe. Your favorite tea. Earl Grey Three, tea. Two. Wow, that was so fascinating. Yeah. I, I, like, I like Earl Grey teas and I like London Fogs. If I am going to make them. Yes. So also, good. also, also, it's very, very difficult to get me with any sweet question and or drink and or breakfast question because I literally work in a bakery and in a breakfast restaurant. So my my also and none. Also, big shout out, big shout out to Jam on Hawthorne and Champagne Poultry, but also big shout out to the Earl Grey Tea Macaroons at Champagne Poultry. If you have not been to Champagne oh Poultry, you that must. So good. So fire! It literally reminds me of cereal and cereal milk. It's so good. The, like, ugh, they're so good. Um. Also, but learning, learning slowly but surely. Um, as I get older, the macarons are starting to hurt my stomach, whereas they did oh. not before. I, if I eat even just one macaroon, two hours later, I'm like gassy. My, I got to go to the bathroom. You know what I'm saying? I have a stomach ache. It's like, wow. And Annie and Daisy, I love them so much. 
They're like, maybe it's the butter. <laughs> They're like, you know, questioning like the ingredients and things that like maybe upset my stomach. I don't know. But we're, we're going to get to the bottom of it because people need macarons and we need macarons in our lives. Now, boom, Emily, how has this high started to progress for you? What direction is this bringing you? What do you think? I feel very spacey. Um, it could just be the day that I had to. I'm sure that I forget that has a lot to do with how I'm feeling right now, too. Sure. Yes. Um, but this is definitely making me feel relaxed. Nice. You know, like, I feel stoned. Like, I don't really have to worry about today because today's done. And it is. And it is. <laughs> Fantastic. I literally am like, Yes. thank you. <laughs> I'm so happy. But, yeah. No, I think the high is just making me feel very, like, mellow. Like, I'm looking forward to, like, watching, uh, have you ever seen Good Girls TV series? Emily, does it look like I've seen Good Girls television series? Okay, I don't know, it's like this, uh... Also, thank you for not judging anyone, but no, I have not seen Good Girls. Do you, have you, do you know what it's about or seen it on no. anything? No. Okay, it's like these three <laughs> suburban like looking like mom housewives that somehow get caught up in a, a counterfeit like gang because they robbed a store for extra money because they're all going through trial and tribulations but it turns out the money they stole was money from the gang and they were using the store to launder the money oh. and so they ended up getting super invested and kind of took on like a little life of crime. I'm on the second season now and I don't really get invested in TV because I'm not really like a TV person, but sometimes like I get home so late, everyone's asleep and it's just me and my dogs and I'm like my switch, my piano, but that doesn't make sense because everyone's asleep or my TV. So I'm like, I'll just fucking put this on. And you know what? It's actually really funny. Yeah. And, uh, it's, I don't know. It's that's that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. I'm done. Now. I'm gonna be good. Now. Also, that is an incredible plot. That's <laughs> incredible. Great. Like it's funny. It's like when you said it, I was like, "Good girls, hell no." And then you're like, "Yeah, it's a bunch of suburban housewives." I was like, "Emily, what?" And yeah, then you I'm went with that. Me, Milka. I, you know what? You're not yeah. wrong. You're not wrong. You're right. You're right. You don't even wear the color pink, so I, I should I should have known. I should have known that there was going to be gangsters and violence and crime involved. I genuinely should have known. But yeah, well, that sounds up my alley. That sounds up it's my alley. It's honestly really funny. Yes. And uh, uh, Matthew Lillard, or uh, Scooby-Doo guy, that's him, right? Shaggy? What's his name? I literally thought you were about to say Damian Lillard's brother is in the like is a guest feature. No, no. Matthew Lillard, he plays live act, uh, live action Scooby Doo. Oh yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay. So he, who, who is he? He's the husband to one of the wives who kind of takes like control of her and her sister and her best friend. He's married to her. Crazy. Love that. Plot twist. And it's really funny. Like, there have been times where I audibly laugh. And I'm like, wow. And no one's around to appreciate this. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Especially in the middle of the night. Well, that's great. Um, and, and also, okay, but now. So you feel like this is going to be something that's spacey. It's a little bit la-la landy. But... You, but you need stimulation to come to you, i.e. Yeah. watching something. You wouldn't draw right now. No, I, w I don't, I don't feel like sitting down to paint. Fair. You know? Very oh. fair. Okay. <laughs> now, do you, do you see this being the last thing you smoke or are you going to smoke something else tonight while you watch that? Um, I'm honestly probably going to finish what I got in my grinder. Call good. I just loaded put a second bowl and took one hit from it, and like I will probably take one soon, but I've just been, it took me five to six hits to get through my last bowl, which was great, 
I am like one of those people that like smoke till it's like done, done. Like some people will empty it and there's still a little bit of green in there. I'm like, eh, wait, I'm not, you know, fuck it, I'll smoke it all. I don't care. So <laughs> I go. So it takes me about five to six times. And, but yeah, I'll probably just smoke on this the rest of the night. I'll probably hopefully finish it, maybe grind up another one of the smaller nuts. But I love to get baked when I watch TV. It's been a, I didn't own a TV for like, five years so it's I'm kind of making up for it <laughs> why not yeah. why not Amen. at the end of the day and I feel this way about video games as well although I do not play video games and I also don't get the chance to watch television as much yeah. I am a Chelsea fan and I will die for this so I do I do I have to say I watch television because I do you know yeah. what I'm saying? It might be once a week for 90 minutes, but I fucking watch television. And also, I have to watch their competitors to even know what's yeah. going on. So I fucking watch. They do suck still. Exactly. Well, they all I get it. do. I get it. Yes. <laughs> yes. I want to give a big fuck you to Manchester United. I want to give a big fuck you to Manchester City. I want to give a big fuck you to Tottenham. And I want to give a big fuck you to... Can't even get it out. I hate you so much. I want to give a big fuck you to Arsenal. I hate all of you equally. Big shout out to CFC. Yes. Big shout, big shout out to CFC and Chelsea. I love you so much. Also what he said. Yes. Um, but um, what I was going to say was, love the point that you made. Also, waste not one night, you smoke it all. We literally just made a testament to how much this ground up. It was yeah. way more than we both expected. Yeah. The other day, I literally went to go smoke before I went into the bakery, and I was like, oh, I'm just going to do a little bit. I was like, I don't want to get too frizzy, yaya. I still got to have my yayas about me. So I'm like, okay, cool. I, I'm like, I, I, I can't remember what it was. I ground up the t dirty diamonds from 50 Fold. I literally ground up a quarter of a nug, and this big-ass mound was in the bottom. I'm like, okay. So I literally am like, I load the bowl. I'm like, I'm just going to load half a bowl. But then it was burning so slow. Like, I only expected it to take two hits. I literally was like eight hits in. And we're talking like, we're talking literally, we're talking 15 minutes before my shift. And on the eighth hit, I'm looking at the bowl and I'm like, there's three hits left in that. And I was like, Malcolm, you have to smoke it. I was like, you, lit you, you have to finish it. Because what am I going to do? Go five hours, come back, hit this. We, we, what? What? For what? We literally have weed going bad. Why the fuck would I come back to this bowl? Because the thing is, yes, I could come back and finish this. And then load it with something else. Now I don't have undivided attention towards the other thing, though. You see what I'm saying? If I'm going to start up from scratch, I'm going to start from scratch. It's it. <laughs> It's how it has to be for myself. But, but yes, sorry. This also, okay, thank you, Emily. Um, this also is incredibly prone to ramble. I will say that. And also, let me do this really quickly. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. Now. Rambling's a for sure side effect of the strain. Yes, yes. And it's. We'll talk about on a rambling rampage. So. Yeah, as we should. Well, it's a podcast. Yes. Um, podcast. Also, it's very like ping pong, bing bong. It's very like able to be like, remember what you said, jump off what you said. You remember what I said, jump off what I said. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's very like, and back and like, I'm, how do I say that? What's a better way to say that? Um, it's a, it has a pretty, pretty good memory, I feel like. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not losing track of what's being said, but because of that, I'm also not as good at multitasking. There's nothing, uh, literally, yeah. literally, almost nothing written on here. And we, we made a. You have to ask me to multitask right now. <laughs> like, you see what I'm saying? But no. yes, but it has its place. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you said, you're gonna go watch something. Perfect. You know what I'm saying? I am also gonna watch my competitors today. Perfect. Big shout out to, big shout out to Chelsea. Well, we didn't win. Will be tied. It's an opening day. Today's a big day. This is a chunk. Yes, today's a big day. My, my first tattoo. Gotta love it at all times. But, okay, Chelsea versus Liverpool did today. It was 1 1 game. Beautiful game. I want to give a big shout out to, um, oh my God, he's a new signing. Um, Disasa? 
disaster, dis di 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 sasa. Sorry, um, ah, my phone's recording this, so I can't look it up. It's 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 his name is like disaster, but it's not, and he's French. It's disazi, disazi. Yeah, yeah. Um, big shout out to Musa disazi. Um, and who scored the other one? Who was it? Um. Luis Diaz from Liverpool, even though we don't really care about him. Well, it was a great game. Mauricio Pochettino's first game in charge as well. Big shout out to CFC. As always, Chiamprachino. Chelsea's not only my first tattoo, but my second, my third, my fourth, and my fifth, and my sixth tattoo. Um, big wow. shout out to Chelsea CFC. Um, nevertheless, non tanto. Um, well, yeah, we have to partake in that. Okay, now, desired effects. This is very difficult for me in order to get these desired effects out. Hard to stay focused. Very hard to stay focused. Um, to the point where I feel like if I were to maybe try to watch the games, I would be distracted on Duolingo or I would be distracted on, you know, um, how should you say, um, what's the word? YouTube or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Um, then, is this more sedative or uplifting? Honestly, this is more sedative. I can't really say this is more uplifting because the uplifting the uplifting tendencies of it are they're present but i feel like my legs more in a downward way i feel like my shoulders more in a like downward way my stomach yeah my my stomach's not really giving me much it feels good don't get me wrong but i'm not like uplifted or butterflies or anything like that like not at all um also would i consider this more functional or not functional of course as we said not functional is this relaxing at all? You made a testament that this was relaxing. I could see that. I could see that being relaxing. You know what I'm saying? However, do I feel un like do I feel completely like wind up doll winded down? No. You know what I'm saying? Which you also made a testament to as well. You know what I'm saying? So more importantly, at the end of the day, I feel good. You know what I'm saying? I can say that. So has this done its job? Yes. Is there anything I would change about this? And also this halfway through the joint, the dry mouth started to present itself, which allowed for the grapefruit to come through even more. Super grapefruit. Here's the only issue. Well, I'm not a big fan of grapefruit. So no matter what this does for me, this wouldn't be something I would come back to. You see what I'm saying? This wouldn't be something that I would recommend first or second or third. You know what I'm saying? But it is a good high. It's a decent high. You know what I'm saying? How could, well, Malcolm, what kind of high is this? If you had to put it in three yayas. I would say, this is very social. I would say, this is very... conscious you know what i'm saying i'm rambling but like i'm aware and that's why i keep having to snap back and be like malcolm focus i can't help but ramble but i'm very like conscious you know what i'm saying your own attention yes yes the problem is there's a thousand jajis you know what i'm saying um but and then and then thirdly i would say i would say creative you know what I'm saying? And that's what's allowing me to ramble. Oh. You know what I'm saying? It's what it's what it's allowing me to be so colorful. We're you feeling know what I'm saying? two very different things yes. right now. But I think it's based off the day that I was having. I did mention I was having a very off day. Sure. Although you did very well. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate you. Yes. Thank you. Yes. But yeah, I was feeling a little heavy to begin with so okay now you feel as though this has kept you in that heavy at that heavy mindset physically no. are you getting are you getting a change more like how you mentioned shoulders like i feel like i just kind of want to like just lean back and just be chill like i don't really i don't want to stand if i don't have to <laughs> 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 I would say that's probably like the biggest thing is that like I can just feel like my legs are gonna be like all right to the couch maybe grab some snacks go to the couch 
Take my feet up and watch something. So. Okay. Because you thought you were a favorite. Because you thought you were safe. Favorite snack to eat on the couch. Go. Five. Four. Three. You know, I love salt two, and vinegar chips. One. Right now, it's salt and vinegar chips. Okay. And I like all kinds of them. I like the the kettle salt and vinegar chips. Okay. I did get salt and vinegar chips that I did enjoy. I just can't remember which ones they were. Are you not typically a big fan of salt no, and vinegar? No, I know for a fact I don't like the Lay's ones. I, I don't even don't even bring it near me. Don't open it near me. Don't breathe it near me. Don't do it. Can't do them. I can't really? do them. I can't do them. The kettle, I haven't tried the kettle ones, but I know for a fact the regular ones with the little picture of the malt vinegar, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 the blue. Can't do it. Can't do it. No way. No way. No way. No way. Sorry. Um, I feel like that may be um, on like a, oh, I, don't, I don't know. But also to each their own. Not my job to like them. Hey, Period. you know, it's really good on a sandwich. Could add a little bit of a crunch to like a typical deli sandwich. Yes, putting potato chips on a sandwich, if you did know, is the oh, hack. That's the way good. to do it. It's the way to the do hack. it. And surprisingly enough, it doesn't cut up your mouth. Ever. No, not. Like, no, ever. Never get yeah. The bread and protein and juices all kind of like just get it enough to where you still get crunch, but it doesn't like. And also, it's all contained. By the time your teeth and tongue and gum even get a chance to reach the chips, they've been mushed together with all the love. The cheese, the sauce, the meats. Yes. It's so good. I'm probably going to make a sandwich after this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Um, very, very good. Okay, fair. Um, but yes, agree. And it seems as though it's time for that scale of 1 through 10. Um, would you recommend? Um, and I will start us off just so I don't get to rambling off. I'm going to try my best. Today we have the Turple Drain from Chanibus. Um, This little guy comes in the eighth and the quarter is in the top shelf. Loud scale 10 out of 10. Smoothness 7.5 out of 10. Breakdown 10 out of 10. Curb appeal 9.5 out of 10. Density 9.5 out of 10. Moisture 8.5 out of 10. Potency wise, I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10. This has a potency behind it. However, this is hitting me a little bit more upbeat. You know what I'm saying? Am I going to say this is hitting me energetic? No. No. I hate the term energetic in the realm of the cannabis industry. Never have I smoked weed and wanted to go run a lap. Like, and my thing is like, I'm an energetic human, okay? So like, and when you say the word energetic to me, like, and who also has experience with other substances, the cannabis has never, in flower form. Made me want to go run a mile? Exactly. Never. Cannabis barely makes me want to get up and play ping pong. Barely. You know what I'm saying? Barely. Okay, but I'm not rambling. Here we go. I feel like all things considered, potency 9 out of 10, even though this is a more upbeat high for myself, I'm going to rate this a 6.5 out of 10. You don't have grams and you're in the top shelf. Yeah. Get that shit together for one. I like the gram options because people do feel like if they're going to invest in, you know, top shelf weed, they should at least be able to try it, which is why I think Blue Roots is so popular, why 50 Fold is so popular. 100%. You know? Yes. Like, those guys are crazy. Blue Roots yes. is blowing the fuck up <laughs> right now. Like, everyone's buying their shit. So, but they have gram options, and people try their grams, they know they're bomb, they come back, they get more. I feel like this is a great company. I feel like if they did grams, it would really change. It would step it, would step it up a lot. Yeah. I feel like more people would look at it, because it has been sitting for a minute, and I feel like it's been overlooked. So, And even for sitting for a minute and smoking it, I'm very pleasantly surprised with this high. So. Yeah. Yes. I love it. Yes. And what literally what I was telling Chuck or what did I just I literally was like, he said it's been said for a minute. I said, I don't give a fuck. Good weed is good weed. It don't matter. It could be it could be a year and a half, two years. I've had weed that's so great, man. You yeah, like, come on. Um, but nevertheless. Um, okay, very fair. And would I recommend this? 
No. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to recommend something in the middle tier just because. I'm also another company great with Graham so far, Doghouse, Lilac yeah. City, you know what I'm saying, also like Western option. culture, you know what I'm saying, and they put the grams in the bag so you can feel it, you know what I'm saying, you could know what you're going to get yourself into, you know what I'm saying, so if you do, Chanibus, come out with grams, go ahead and put them in the bag, also, yeah. the bag I feel like the bags allow for the loudness to come out so customers can get a smell for it. I literally had a customer come in today, a regular big shout out to homie. He came in, he was like, man, I'm, he's like, he's like opening each bin. He's like, man, none of these are like hitting me with all of the like smell. And they literally were all jars. Every single one he wanted to check out was in a jar. And I was like, damn it, I wish I could open these jars right now. But you know what I'm saying? It's like. When you have bags in your thing, it allows for the customer to get that. The Sea Town yeah. Lemon Haze from Western Culture Prime Example. Oh Open God. that bin. There's no more lemon than that. None. Yeah. None. That shit will sell somebody like that. Yeah. Literally. It's great when you open a box and it sells itself. <laughs> literally. Quite literally. Quite literally. They're like, nope, yep, I need that. You know what I'm saying? So, little little thing. But yes, okay, that's my spiel on this. Um, and also, what do I like most about the high? Okay, this is my last thing. I feel like this is it's a bratty type of high, though. You know what I'm saying? Like doing what you want at your own pace. You know what I'm saying? Um, I would not want to be out in public at all. You know what I'm saying? I would not want to be told what to do at all. You know what I'm saying? This is beat of my own drum. Like I said, the beat of my own pace as well. You know what I'm saying? So I that I that I do like about it, but also I don't think that's the best thing to like about that. Um very like, independent high, I guess. Nevertheless. Um, Emily, what are you thinking? Um, yeah, same thing. I'm feeling a little bit more on the <clears throat> mellower side. I <clears throat> excuse me. I think I'm gonna rate this a seven out of ten. Because, yeah, I wish they had gram options for sure. I would have tried this a lot sooner had there been gram options, I feel like. Because um, I'm one of those people that don't typically like to invest in aids that I haven't tried. Because um, I, I am a gram shopper. And I've been trying to take the leap and try more things recently because I have the flexibility to now. But, you know, I always like the grams. Also, I wish I was feeling the type of high that you were feeling from it a bit more. Um, I like that social, creative, you know, not necessarily up, up, B, right. but hitting you from that like level. Yes. Um, I would be willing to try. I'm gonna probably smoke this tomorrow <laughs> and see if a good night's sleep changes it for me. Right. Um. And I'll be happy to let you know if it changes anything. Absolutely. I would love that. <laughs> yes. And also the the method. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I rolled mine in that joint. You know what I'm saying? I do love a good joint. Maybe I'll roll this with coffee in the morning. Yeah. Oh. Fantastic. Yes. And that would be like a little grapefruit yaya and coffee. That would be good. That would be unique. <laughs> yes. That would be very unique. That would be Honestly, unique. that would be a very pleasant. I love Joint and you should smoke it with a lavender latte. I don't know if you like lavender. No, I love lavender. I love lavender. A lavender latte would be so That would be fire. That would be fire with this. That's a great pairing with this. Yeah. Lavender latte lavender. should be a strain. They should cross something super yeah. lavender and then Matcha something. Latte. Yes. Matcha latte and lavender kush. Yeah, that would be fire. That would be fire. You should email a seed bank and see if they'll give you profits on it. Email who? Yeah, look. <laughs> Shit, any seed bank. <laughs> so, and, and tell them the, the crosses. They can buy the seeds. Yeah. They can buy them. I'm like, this is what you guys need to do. Yes, <laughs> yes. Fire. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. There's a coffee stand over by my uh, my house, and they do uh, lattes like that, and it it's so good. I Abs brood awakenings, which is bomb. Yes, yes, brood awakenings. Yes. Um, big shout out. Yeah, lavender lattes taking over the world. They really yeah. are. Um, okay, very fair. And would you recommend this in the top shelf 
at the eighth um, quantity. If it was mid, I okay. would recommend it. Okay. I feel like this is like could compete with uh, like Redbird status. You okay. Know? Like go down there just a little bit. Like it's good, you know. Like I would recommend it if it changed a little bit, not to be so top shelf. You know. Agreed. Agreed. Yeah. Okay. And I also, I also, like I said, I definitely agree. I would love to see it come back with grams and in the middle tier yeah you know what i'm saying that would be great that would be great okay very fair um thank you emily um and um it seems as though because you thought you were safe again what favorite drink with ice cubes go five four three two it's a great choice it's a great choice that's a great I choice. I love iced coffee. Okay, very fair. Mine is definitely a margarita on the rocks. <laughs> mm. I love ice cubes in a margarita. Do not blend it. Don't ever fucking yeah. blend no, my margarita. You can't blend it. You no. can't blend it. No. You gotta have it on the rocks. Yes. Once you blend it, it's not an alcoholic cocktail anymore. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care. <laughs> I don't fucking it's care. It's a slushy. 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 I need my margarita on the rocks. That's just my favorite and then when you're all done and you have it it's a hot ass day outside and you just have it sitting for like two minutes and you look back and there's more liquid but it still has the flavor of the yaya because it's just all the ice you're like oh my god it's like a little flavor saver you like chug that oh it's the little things yes it's the little things of life yes well it seems as though this has brought us to a close I want to give a big shout out to everybody smoking weed worldwide and rocking and rolling and embracing Mary Jane for all that she is. To colleagues and coworkers, all of y'all, Emily, love you much. And we will see you all next time. Okay. Stay high and humble, oh. y'all. Well, no, this time we say stay high, humble, stay and hydrated. hydrated. Stay hydrated, bitches. Yes. Just about to be 100 motherfucking degrees up in this bitch. Yes. Also... No. Also, um, Callista John and Brian Robinson, Gatorades for everybody on staff. Because my other yeah. jobs have been doing it. And it's it's the thoughtful things in life. <laughs> I, yes. Yeah, look. Well, also, they like motherfucking y'all are in AC. Y'all don't need Gatorade. Look. <laughs> also, and for that same exact reason, um, you gotta show love. Thank you, John, Calista, and, and yes. everyone for AC and a water okay. machine that comes out cold the as fuck. Love how cool it is when they come in. Yes. They're like, oh my god, it feels so good in here. And then it smells good. And we got fresh water for the dogs. Yes. Love that for them. Yes. Yes. It's like a little utopia. Yeah. You're coming from a Sahara to the well, utopia. It's a little safe place. Yes. We got your back. Yes. yes, but remember to say hi, humble and hydrated. We'll see y'all yes. next time. Peace. Bye, Bye y'all.